Is there a point when you're trying to cut through the air where you do not want the plane inclined anymore, where it becomes actually less efficient to do that somehow or creates another problem? Well, actually, we are not cutting through some solid metal, so you need to actually have a really sharp edge. Yes. If we're talking about the subsonic velocities. Yeah, in your aerospace and in, yeah, in your yeah. work when you're moving uh, through the air. The, the best way is to have a, like a smooth shape in the front in yes. order to be more, to have a better penetration and a lower resistance. If you make some sharp, really sharp yes. edge, there will be some air separation, you will create some turbulence, and it will be the opposite effect. Uh, it will have the opposite uh, effect. Oh, okay, okay. What is air separation? Separation is when, okay, there's the air which is flowing through a surface, yes. and it follows the surface. Yes. If there is a too sharp edge, it will go this way, and then here, start to detach from the surface, and okay. there are some vortex, yes. and this will create separation of the airflow, yes, yes. and increase the resistance of the, of the body in motion. Because there's a, a back pull with the vortex? Yeah, there's basically some, some resistance and energy dissipation from yes. this vortex, yes. which will create some resistance, yes. both in shape, and then some and, shaking and also the, the turbulence uh, you say yes some, on some level yes will lead some some shaking or does well, probably you know the von Karman vortex which are you know them the which vortex von Karman no. it's a name of uh, I do not know no 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 so basically there are some which is somehow related also to structures Yes. and building bridges and so on. Okay. So when there is a, like a big pylon or a big rope and the wind is blowing this direction, yes. there are some detaching vortex from the, from the, from the pole. Yes. And this creates some, some forces yes. and some resonation to the, to, the, to the pole. And this, in the past, created some big failures also to to bridges which are some bridges yeah okay because the windows was blowing was creating some resonation yes resonance and was breaking apart the the bridges so okay somehow yes. the air can cause you know also from from wind instrument yes can cause vibration instruments i mean we are intentionally setting those ropes, the strings, mm. the cordophone, <laughs> in motion on a guitar. And I've never thought about the, the separation and potential small vortexes. Is, is this happening on the, on the scale of a guitar? Is this causing some small... Yes, always happens. <laughs> always happens. But it's negligible, basically, for the, yes. for the purpose the amount of power guitar is irrelevant. playing and guitar making uh, i think so yeah okay it, yeah. <laughs> it, it, i mean it also depends on the density of the of the air or the gas in this yes. case if you're talking about the normal density here it will be to work basically like without any impact mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. are considering another gas which might be heavier than air mm -hmm. could probably do some more impact think about also the some videos that you that you saw online with people inhaling helium yes having the yes. small voice and then heli inhaling the another gas the which is really heavy and they have the big voice yes so in the same way uh, depending on the on the atmosphere on the the gas it could also have some impact, but it will be really, really small. So that's the gaseous effect. I always presumed that was doing something to the membrane. It's not the membrane. It's actually the density of the helium mm -hmm. is not causing a physical reaction with your No, 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 no chemical, no chemical reaction. No, it's just the, the density yes. of the gas, which basically 
it's like it's a lower density uh, helium yes lower density think about so there's less resistance uh than, yes then the mixture that we normally breathe with the oxygen you can also carbon. make a parallelism between what you said before about the density of the wood yes and the thickness of the wood yes exactly works almost in the same way well so we we've by with the helium then the density is less oh, it's moving faster higher pitch oh, i'm gonna have to think on that in a little while mm. but i will be thinking about that thank you i'm gonna shoot up at 4 30 tomorrow morning <laughs> with a word on my mind <laughs> but that's that's wonderful uh, so this this concept of air separation is really interesting so you, you don't just want to cause it to cut through it you actually mm. want it to somehow to flow around flow around it mm -hmm. but to stay in contact yeah for different purposes the first one is the increase decreased uh, resistance yes because of no separations and no energy dissipation yes the second one will be okay if you have the air which is, which is attached yes in front of the car for example you can manipulate where you want it to go after yes so it has a double function yes <laughs> cause it to flow and so what are the what are the other benefits of keeping it and then directing it where where else would you want to direct it oh. you mean into the intakes the first, the first idea would be yes into the intakes for yes. cooling cooling yes. during radiators and so on the second option will be to direct into wings mm -hmm. or some other part of the car which is responsible for creating some downforce like we said before mm -hmm. uh, is that part of the spoiler at the the back of the car yes that's that's, that's for some downforce yep and and you do that by causing some separation or not or by because this is above mm -hmm. and so is it directing the same air that's staying over the front of the car or it's gathering something more what is what is the spoiler effect what is happening yeah yeah, yeah. basically uh, if it is a re normal spoiler like something which it's called ducktail because it reminds of um, the tail of a duck. Yes, yeah, okay, yeah. yes. It is something like this, basically will collect also some air from the outside of the outer layers of, yes. the, of, the, of the air, which comes from the car, and will basically uh, do a shape like this movement. Mm -hmm. And so by going up, it will create a reaction mm -hmm. in the towards the ground and that will for a, a vacuum like reaction or what, what it's not a vacuum uh, what's um, in this case it's not a vacuum if it is a spoiler in yes. case we are talking about a wing there yeah. will be a vacuum reaction yes what if it is just a spoiler like it, it is attached to the car yes it is just a down wash effect down up wash and therefore uh, a down Part force of effect response yeah. yeah if you're talking about a wing uh, most people think that they work by pressing down from above, they press down, mm -hmm. while they function basically by vacuum the, the lower side yes. and sucking, sucking down. Okay. So, yeah. Also, related to this, there are also different um, design issues in order to make wings work better. Which basically they attach. You need to also attach the wing to the body of the car in order to connect and direct the force to the ground. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the easiest way will, will be to to support the wing by the lower part, mm -hmm. you know, like this. Yes. But in this way, you will disturb the the part of the wing which is actually working in creating the force. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the ideal way would be to take the wing by the, the upper part. Yeah. So you have the gooseneck 
design of okay. the of the wing and the pylons. Yes. So this will influence also the design of the car, depending on mm -hmm. how much you want to achieve and if the design is really willing to do in that direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is something that you find mostly in really uh, race cars, yeah, not sports car. Right, right. No. Thank you for watching and listening. You can find more episodes wherever you listen to your podcasts. And a special thanks to those who support us on Patreon. It's your support that enables us to do this work.